America, guys. It's super dark in here. All right, lead the way, guys, to Kenya. We go. All right, hello. We are now in the Heifer Global International Village. We spent the better part of the afternoon learning about Heifer International, uh, how it started in the 40s. Uh, and the idea of it is that you give away livestock to help build long-term uh, development and sustainability. Uh, they have 12 different core principles to be shown earlier in the video. But now we are beginning our poverty simulation. It's about 5.31. We've been uh, broken up into four different groups. Kenya, Guatemala, Thailand, Thailand! and Appalachia. And what's up? Thailand! And you guys need our wood. Some of our Thailand people. The only things that we're allowed to have with us are our sleeping bags, and I have to take care of this fast. A water bottle, and um, the clothes on our backs, and one luxury item. So, oh, and cameras. Cameras are allowed. So many people chose uh, like a pillow for their luxury item, or uh, their phone as a luxury item. Um, so we have to cook ourselves dinner. Uh, Guatemala is the only one that has water rights, so we have to get all the water from Guatemala. Thailand is the only one that has the wood. We have to get all the wood from Thailand. Uh, and all the adults have to act as either uh, toddlers or senile old people, is what we've been told. We are not allowed to help unless in the event of an emergency or in case they're doing something dangerous. So the kids are gonna be starting fires, cooking, um, figuring things out, negotiating water rights. In addition to that, they've also been given a water balloon that is acting as their baby. I'm holding it. He wants to see it. It's right here. This fat sack of crap. His name is Jeff. Come, come cook. Uh, and they have to hold on to it all the time. If they put it down for more than 10 seconds, uh, the baby dies and they have to mourn. If the baby pops, they have to mourn for 30 minutes. They have to sit in silence. Um, the baby has to stay alive all night. So they're trading off the baby and everything. Should be fun. All right. I've just dropped, dropped a bunch of the food on the ground. Oh, come on. I got to cook. 
I have a feeling I'm not gonna be eating tonight. Gotcha, baby! Gotcha, baby! Gotcha, baby! So we are two minutes in to this experience. I've already had to take the knife away from my group because being dangerous with it. And on top of that, they left me. They left the toddler to just wander around. Um, so hey, what have you guys decided to do so far? We decided to barter for the wood. Yeah, if you guys like, give us any food, then we'll give you some wood and um, some. But I also hear that you guys have different duties. Yeah, I have, mm -hmm. I have wood and me and him have fire. And I, I have knife chef. and fire. I'm a chef. Uh, and he's a chef. Uh, he's the old guy. Yes. Well done, guys. Thank you. So the fire at Thailand was very short-lived. We try again. All right, so here we are in the Heifer Global, whatever village. Um, and Owen, what team are you on? I'm Thailand. Thailand. You're on Team Thailand. So what is your current job? I have to hold the baby and take care of it. What's the baby's That's name? That's right. The baby's name is Jake. Excuse me. We decided on that. So, is it Jake or Lele? Lele! It's Jake! Lele. Our baby's Jake. name is Jeff. His name is Jeff. Alright. So, and um, Owen just complained that it was hard doing what he's doing. Yeah? Yeah. Why is it hard? Because you have to carry the baby in. Because you have to always be watching it and you can't put the baby down. That's right. Because it can pop. Alexander! Stop. Alexander! Don't use the knife to make a spear. Round two of trying the fire. So we're about 10 matches into Thailand's fire building experience. And I have to show them how it's done. And they have yet to read the fire starting card that came with their supplies. <laughs> this is the Appalachia crew. Um, I just Dan. What's the name of your all's baby? Honey. The baby is Honey, and what have you guys managed to do so far? No, oh, no, no. Don't cut it in your hand. Cutting carrots and getting wood and cutting potatoes. Please? If we make it through this without an injury, it'll be a miracle. I'm going after that orthopedist. I had a hip surgery going bad. <laughs> it's not good. I'm gonna go try to make a fire over there. Where's the. Buell, how's your experience been at the. Well, people just coming on my property, coming up to my house, wanting everything, and I'm still waiting on supper. What? How's your experience at the International Village going? Crazy. What you doing right now? Eating onions. They're good. What are other people gonna eat? I don't know. That's on them. Good, uh. I'm nice. Good group attitude right there. So the situation's getting dire. We're down to two matches, and there are people that are just starting to eat food, and the rest of the group doesn't know. So we might end up having a little tiff because if they get this fire started, they may not have anything to cook over it. So, we'll see what happens here. Two of those, we need to put those in there, the match thing. Put the one that's in. No, no, no! no! Wait, what? Scott, don't, don't get too close. I have a mattress. Yeah, but that thing is really hot. It's gone. How many kids does it take to start? How many kids does it take to make a fire? Smoke coming out of the chimney, that's a good sign. It's 7.15 now. Sounds like the fire may have gone out again. I just heard a child yell. Can we just order Domino's? Nope. Full council, and we decide what the punishment is. Okay. okay. All right. Don't I'm not making this up, Marcus. I'm serious. Ask Barbie. Barbie, what happens if someone stabs the baby? Barbie, where'd she go? What? What's she might be down in that place. All right. So we are. <laughs> it's 7:30. We do have a fire going now, but now. One group is seriously, they're seriously considering killing a baby. <laughs> it's a water balloon. So it's now 8.10 and we are finally eating for the first time. Yep. It's taking plate. really long. See the plate? We had about double this amount of food. 
per person. Per person. Yeah. Not a lot. It was good though. Yeah. What did you think? It's good. Um. Yeah. Not fully cooked. Well, I, I haven't Not even fully cooked. I haven't even had well. any, so I'm just having soup um, first. The eggs were delicious. Yeah. The carrots are good. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even get a potato stuff. So, I mean, <laughs> you're complaining a little bit more about it, Ginger, about it being raw, but I didn't even get one. Um, and uh, also, would you? We. Oui. Can I be in it? Okay. We. Oui. Also, there, there you go. Um, sweaty. The first child has died. Yep, the first balloon died in there. Stan morning. neglected his baby. Yep, he gave it to Marcus and yeah, then he and threw it, it in the off woods. Into the woods. Nope, he threw it in the woods. Adam, he Adam said, I bet, he said, no, he said, I bet you, I, I dare you wouldn't They're throw it in the, the woods. They've been in the morning, the morning for, for 10, 10 minutes. minutes now and it has been a very peaceful And we've minutes. had, yeah. we've had two people start crying over the loss of their baby. <laughs> <laughs> They're mourning, Marcus. They're mourning. <laughs> yeah. All right, how's everybody? Uh, it's now eight something another. How do you guys? Hello. Thank you, Alexander. How are you guys feeling about your uh, Heifer International Global Village experience? Oh, uh, these three can't talk. Alexander can't talk. All right, so here is the soup that our team has also been cooking up tonight. It's looking really good, guys. Well done. Uh, what's in there, Claire? Very good. Awesome. Looks good. The tides turn fast here in the little village. Within five minutes, baby Jeff is now dead. And the rest of the Kenya team has to mourn his loss. All the guys have now killed their babies.